Hello yet again and welcome back to Composing with Sam. This is episode 7 and in this episode we're going to do some Google Earth work. This is in Savannah, Georgia. I have Google Earth already set up in here and we have this four lane road, two lanes in each direction, divided by this some sort of drainage canal. And we're just going to do some minor improvements and show how you can do this fairly very quickly in Beyond Typicals with a nice photo composite to boot. And just some thoughts about this. Obviously, you have, the only way this is possible is if you do a straight section that's unchanging or relatively unchanging during that section. And you also wanna be mindful of the things that might be in front of the road as far as ob obscuring things, because if I went like this, then the cars are gonna be driving over those, but that can also be a blessing if we want to pull some of those elements out in a foreground, background situation. And so we're going to do some of these things in this example. And I'm just going to take a little bit, um, a little bit of foreground like this, and we're gonna take this screenshot, and then we're gonna bring this into GIMP for some foreground editing. All right, so we have this image in GIMP now, and I'm gonna bring out the foreground and background, separate those out. One thing I'm gonna do is, you can see these are kind of pointy, and that's just because the way Google Earth handles trees is kind of messy. And so I'm gonna round those out a little bit on purpose to try and avoid some of that look. All right, so now I'm in Beyond Typicals. This is a pre-release version of version three. And this is the default project, so it's probably gonna look something like this when you open it up. And to get started, we're going to go to Example Projects and just choose Blank. You could also always go to File and do New Blank as well. Multiple ways to do that. And then I always just go ahead and turn off the Total Width Label. All right, so now we wanna to go to the Render tab. We have uh, rendering and we have photo composing. So let's click photo composing, import a new layer. Let's do our foreground and let's do our background. And then we wanna make sure the foreground is in the front and the background is in the back. And then I always go ahead and go to 4K. That's gonna set the re resolution prior to us rendering. So we don't, have, we don't have to adjust things later. And we can see we have this this boundary around here. So we just wanna zoom in just a little bit. Let's do 1.1 and then we gotta match it with the background. 1.1. And then you can again, always check to see if you have the foreground background correct by bringing something in and it's doing what we want it to do. And you can see those edges of the tree I was talking about. But once we bring the road in, that's not gonna, it's gonna be rounded off like the way I clipped it. All right, so now we're going to also extend out our length, section length. Let's do, see if 500's long enough. That should be okay. All right, so now I'm going to build out my section. All right, so we have our existing road section built out. We have our labels. Those aren't always necessary, but they're helpful to make sure that we're building the right way. And now I wanna do camera matching. Sometimes I do this step, the building and the camera matching together, but in this one, I wanna do them separately. So we have this in here and we wanna match the camera. And we can you can adjust the field of view, but I can see here these power poles. One is kind of pointing left and one is pointing right. That means it's probably not something way zoomed out like this, just as a hint, and it's probably just fine as is. So let's just see if we can match it. So I'm just using my mouse, adjusting the camera, and trying to get it close. We can, you can see here, we can't see what's underneath. So what you do is you go to photo compositing, and then we want to bring the background to the front, and then we want to adjust the opacity. And this is gonna help us line it up, especially 
by using the striping. So now we can make minor adjustments and get it closer and closer. And I can see here, this width isn't correct. So we're gonna adjust that a little bit. And then you can make more fine tune adjustments down here by clicking settings and moving those as necessary. Not only the X, the Y, and the Z, but also the rotation with the pitch and the yaw. Uh, All right, once you're done positioning the camera, then you wanna to go to this rendering tab and do save current camera. And then we can bring our background back to the back and adjust the opacity. And you can see here, we're pretty close. I think we need to widen out the width of our shoulders. And these are problems you're not gonna be facing if you are doing your own project because you're gonna have all the widths and everything from the very beginning. All right, so now that we have the existing, we're gonna to go to phasing. I'm gonna say duplicate current phase. We wanna make this called existing. We wanna make this one proposed. And if in this scenario, we're going to widen toward the center and we're going to add some trees. So we're gonna add a lane in each direction and add some trees, and I'm gonna kind of speed through this part. All right, so we've done our existing and our proposed. I think this looks really nice. One thing, and this is kind of a nitpicky thing, but we're seeing shadows from these palm trees, which I think is, is nice. Shadows are gonna add a lot if you can utilize them. But the way Google Earth is processed, there's not really shadows because it's like taking pictures from all directions. And so we want shadows to be cast from the trees in this image as well. Actually, we can see some shadows from this power line, this power pole. So let's match the shadows there. And then we want some shadows to be cast in a way that they might on this road. So let's adjust our temp day. And then just for a little shadow blending, we're gonna bring an asset in. We're gonna do pull. It doesn't really matter what kind of pull because we're just interested, we're just interested in the shadow right now. So grab this pole, let's bring it out here. Let's make it bigger. And then now you can see it's casting a shadow over there which is gonna blend in. And let's do the same thing over on this one. All right, so that's blending in, but we don't want that pole to show up. So you select it, and then you just wanna say hide model, and it'll do that, but leave the shadow, which is a feature we added just for photo compositing, for a little more blending. And, and this is how it turned out with the fade. This took me, um, probably about 25 minutes, maybe 23 minutes. And um, we have our before and after, all photo composited with and beyond typicals. So um, if you have questions, make sure to visit beyondcad.com and reach out to us and we'd love to do a demo with your company and I will talk to you in the next one.